Fever Street just after 2 a.m. this morning. Action News Jacks, Bridget Matter has been live at that scene since about 4.15. Bridget, within the last hour, we finally found out the identity of the victim. And it's been almost seven hours now since police have been here after shots were fired outside of the Silver Fox uh, strip club off of Beaver Street over here on the west side. This is the picture of the man that the manager told me was shot and killed this morning. He says that about five people were kicked out of this club after some sort of altercation inside. And that's when shots were fired outside. The man's body is still here on scene. The medical examiner was here, uh, just arrived here about an hour ago. He's still processing uh, what happened here. We're told about 20 to 30 people, 25 to 30 people were in here when this happened. And police, they had to interview all of those witnesses this morning. They don't have a suspect at this point. Last time we checked, we are also told that there's some sort of surveillance system inside that club that police are going to have to look through. Also, another person was shot when this all happened. He was shot in the face. He was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. That's that last check from when we spoke to police. Right now, I have been looking through social media. Lots of posts from friends and family saying rest in peace to a man named Marlon Bryce. We have not had that confirmed with police, but they are referencing this shooting here. So we can only assume that that is the victim. Lots of people uh, that I have reached out to to see if there's anything they can tell me about this victim. Of course, once we get that information, we'll bring it to you here on air. Reporting on the West Side, Bridget Matter, Fox 30 Action News Shacks. Her son was, was